School started in Albuquerque today, and for parents and kids in one neighborhood, just getting there was a huge headache. A construction snafu by a city road contractor caused a major mess, and it's not going away anytime soon. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live tonight near Unser and Rainbow with the story. Alex? Dick, these construction signs behind me weren't supposed to be here today. They are, and it's making an already congested area for parents that much harder to navigate. We have been hoping all summer long that it would get done a lot sooner. We've had our fingers crossed that please be done, but uh, yeah, every time we look at it, we're like, great. Paula Pond is just one of many Volcano Vista High School parents who faced an extra hurdle getting kids in and out of school today. It's tricky enough on a normal day with a high school, middle school, and elementary school all in close company. Michael Reardon with Albuquerque Municipal Development says the city's been trying to catch up on infrastructure in the area, hard at work on a $25 million upgrade. One piece of it that we were trying to get done before school started was Rainbow Boulevard between Universe and Unser. But that didn't happen, leaving a key road in and out of the schools in no shape for school day traffic. The project is a month behind. The storms that we had this year washed out some of the infrastructure that was built up there. A certain earth was expected to be there, and instead of that, we found more bedrock than we thought, so more hard rock. So some design changes had to be made as part of this work. Reardon says the contractor, not the city, is on the hook for the cost of the delays, as well as the overtime needed to have APD officers help direct traffic in the area. For parents, that's only a small relief. And the construction's necessary. We are happy that the roads are going to be fixed, but right now it's a little bit of a headache having to leave so much sooner getting kids into school. And... Now, APS says it sent out alerts about the construction delays to parents both earlier before the school year started and another one today. That alert advises them that they need to plan to leave an extra 15 to 20 minutes early to handle the construction delays. Back to you. Okay, Alex, there's another twist to this. The school district, APS told us today, any students at those affected schools who were late for the first day would not have those tardies counted on their records. But several parents told us they were told just the opposite at the schools today.